What's up, everybody? My name's Ben. And I'm Rebecca. This is the Traveling Salvation Show. And if you're new to our channel, we quit our old life. We started a new life by buying a motorhome, a real old motorhome, completely yeah. renovating it. Now we travel around buying stuff and selling it online full time on eBay and other online platforms. The entire purpose of this channel is to show you that you can do the same thing. Particularly if we do it in a motorhome, you can do it in a motorhome or in your home. Yeah. If you don't want to do that and you just been thinking about opening up a ice skating arena in the desert and selling <laughs> baked ice cream, we can he help you with that ridiculously yeah. hair brain idea that you have and help you at a failing business. We suggest you just stick to the RV yeah. and selling stuff on eBay. Now, if you might can tell behind us right now that it is a dark and dreary and cold day, so we will not be hiking or pontooning nope. or anything like that. What we're going to do, we felt like having some ribs today, and it is too late to smoke ribs for six hours. So we're going to show you while we are going over what you saw in the title, which are is pros and cons, the pros and cons of making money on the road. So we're yeah. going to go over that with you. And we're going to show you how we quick smoke ribs and we'll do what's sold yep. on top of it. So this is a packed video. You're getting all that for the price of zero dollars. Yep. So <laughs> let's go ahead. And if you want to get that ice rink out in the desert and bake some ice cream, let's get started right now.
Mom said we are going to show you how to cook some fall off the bone ribs where all you have to do is have them on the grill for like eight minutes. If you ain't got time to smoke ribs for six hours, you can do that. But at the same time, we're going to talk about the title of this video, which is the pros and cons, cons of making money on the road. Yep. So we will also be talking about that. Okay, let's get these things open up. I can tell you one of the pros, pro number one of making money on the road is that we always have new places to source. Why there's a lot of people in the towns, they have to stay in the towns that they're in doing the sourcing that they're doing. We get to go new places all the time. I mean, all the time. So mm -hmm. when we get tired of one place, we go to another. If we just want to yeah. visit somewhere, we go there and we start sourcing there. But, but the bad thing about that, the con of that is there are places where there's no sourcing at all. None. Yeah, no sourcing whatsoever. Everybody's got their own dry rub. I mean, so I guess use on dry rub. I actually left something out on this one. What this is, is four tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of salt, two of oregano, one of garlic powder, onion powder, one of garlic powder. I like black pepper. So yes. usually this would call for half of this much, but I got a whole teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to put a quarter cup of brown sugar. Sometimes I use brown sugar. Sometimes I don't. I guess leading off of that pro also was we can go, pro number two, we can go wherever we want to. Yeah, we can. I mean, that's kind of obvious. We're, near, we're in an RV, but if we are tired of where we're at, just we can move. work on the road. So we just yeah. move. And that's... Go to all kinds of cool places. Yeah, and that's super sweet. But... And, the not so good part about that is when we're in these nice places, they're on the lake, we have to work while everybody's outside having fun. Yeah. Not chilling all, by the water. Not all the time, but we have to have self-discipline. And I mean, you'll be sitting there on a mountain overlooking a lake and people will be water skiing past you and yeah. stuff. And people will be out barbecuing, grilling, listening to music. You know what I'm saying? Kids shooting fireworks at each other and, you know, chasing dogs around, beating yeah. their sisters up with wiffle ball bats and all them general hijinks. And we don't even get to beat anybody with a wiffle ball bat. Nope. We have we to don't. stay in and work. You said this one. So you see, I just mixed all that stuff up. That's what we're going to rub on these ribs. First off, you want to take, you don't have to. I take this membrane, this membrane right here. You see it? Peel that off the back. And then I trim some of these, this fat off. To get this fat off, or membrane off, just get it started right there. Get you a paper towel or something you can grip it with. And pull that sucker off, just like that. The flexibility. Yes. We can work when we want and not work when we don't want to work. Yeah. Again, we do have to have some self-discipline. Yeah. You know, because if you don't work at all, you don't have any money coming in. Mm -hmm. But if we don't have an office we have to be at, you know, we have to get our packages sent out and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, if if we, even if we don't want to, that's something yeah, we do so have to do. you have to, to do it. Every day you have to ship your items. Yeah, so that's something we do have to do. Yeah. But if we want to, we can go into vacation mode on, you know, all of our accounts. I don't, you know, I'd have, I've, we've never done that. We've never had to do that because, again, the cool thing about it is no matter whether we're on vacation or not, it's not too hard to pack a few packages and take them to the post office. Yeah. So, and then bam, there you go. It's easy. It's easy. All right, so I'm going to get this stuff off, get these ribs to where they're ready to rub, and then we'll get right back with you with some more pros and cons and some more ribs. Yeah, more ribs. What are the potatoes? I forgot that was the name of a potato. I just thought <laughs> yeah. of Mr. and then potato came right after it with butter. And then she's going to put some coarse salt all over them, wrap them up. We'll put those in the fire. These ribs, as you see, I have gotten all that membrane from the back of it here and chopped them into smaller pieces. And it actually had a big chunk of skirt hanging down off the bottom of it. I guess that's what you call it. I'm not a bitcher. So I don't know what, what uh, that actual cut of meat is. So we're gonna, but we're gonna rub them down. Yeah. Actually first, we're gonna soak these things down with lemon juice and let them set yeah. for a second. Because the lemon juice, lime juice, what I lime like. Juice. Lime juice will act as a tenderizer and make these things super tender. All right, so we will soak these down with lime juice. Really good. And then 
I will get started on this situation here that goes in the oven. I'll show you how I do that to get that smoky flavor on them and to get them really, really tender. Typically, I would like to have a stainless steel pan, a rack, and then put the ribs on the rack with liquid smoking water up under it or chicken broth with liquid smoking it up under it. But I don't have a rack. I have a tinfoil pan and a bunch of rolls of tinfoil that I'm gonna lay these ribs on. Then I'm gonna put the liquid smoking water in this and cover it all up. And I may put a little bit in the bottom here also, try to create some steam. But again, I'd much rather have a rack to do this, but this'll work out. What we have here is liquid smoke. They've got hickory. They got Reggie Miller, the they regular. Got pecan. Pecan, 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 whatever you want to call it. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. <laughs> Any of those. So you got your water. Just, what's that? Probably four or five ounces, five ounces. And your liquid smoke. And you put in, I don't know. I'm not a liquid smoke thing. There's no directions on here. It's something you mix this different ways. You can put it on in sauces, on stuff. Mm -hmm. This is to create a smoke steam to steam these St. Louis ribs. Yeah. While we're in the southeastern United States. But we're gonna run a little bit up on here too, to get just a little bit of water up on here and put some liquid smoke in the bottom of this also. So we have our water in the bottom of the pan. We're gonna put just a little bit of liquid smoke in between each one and four things. That's a lot of liquid smoke. We like our stuff to taste smoky. smoky. Yeah. Because if you don't, then you just like to taste the meat, I guess. And you might as well not even be cooking it. Might yeah, as well just, just eat meat. raw meat. So these have been soaking for a little while. And did we ever say what the con was to being flexible? No. Did they take vacations off we all didn't. the time? We did not. So what is the con to that? Job security. Job security. Yep. We don't have a nine to five. No. So if we don't work, if we just be flexible all the time then and we don't, don't do nothing, we don't get paid. So we don't have the benefit of going and getting a paycheck yeah, every single week. Some people have jobs where they could just go to work and do nothing. Yep. And they get paid. And they get paid. And they but get paid. we don't. We are definitely, when you own your own business, it is definitely work performance pay. Mm -hmm, work performance is. reward. Now what we're going to do here with this is rub it in. Rub it in. Put it all over that lime juice, lemon juice, lime juice. You could lime. use like, you could use lemon juice. We like lime. It works better. Yeah. That's what I've learned. It tastes good too. It, it makes it real tender. So, and we like to get it all on it. Get it on the edge of this thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You want that thing smothered. Smothered. You use that sandals resort. You want a massage. You want to massage your ribs the same way. You get a little like that. We will finish doing these and we'll show you what we'll do with them. Basically, which is just put them in the oven. Yeah. These bad boys are rubbed. Mm -hmm. Got them up above the bottom with a little bit of water with liquid smoke on the bottom and this thing full of water with liquid smoke in it. And there are two sides to the temple. A lot of people don't know that. There's a dull side and there's a shiny side. Mm -hmm. Dull side down, down on the temple, on that pearl. Temple is loud. It is. It's like obnoxiously loud. <laughs> so we have our RV oven preheated to 300 degrees. Mm -hmm. And we have the rack all the way up top because we don't have a pizza stone in there right now and we don't want to get burnt up. Mm -hmm. So two hours is two what hours. we want to do with that. Yep. You can check it to see if there's water still in it, but the water in that cup should be enough with the water on the mm -hmm. bottom to, to keep it from drying up. Two hours is what we're going to leave them on there for. So we'll start back with the pros and cons after we put it on the grill yeah and we come in here and start cutting it up and eating it in front of y'all two hours later 300 degrees in the rv oven let's see what we got here still got some liquid at the bottom still got some liquid smoke in the cup so they ought to be good and smoky tasting some already falling off the bone you see that <laughs> see we will probably put some more rub on here we forgot the brown sugar. Yeah, we did. And it's okay because a lot of times we don't use brown sugar like we mm -hmm. said, but you can put whatever kind of rub you have. Most people have their own kind of rub. Tell us what, how your rub goes, unless you got a super secret family rub that you 
think you're going to open up an awesome restaurant yeah. with and can't give it out or whatever. But we'd love to know what, what, what you use because we'd like to try it out, actually. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do here is you don't have to do anything else of these. You don't have to baste them anything. Put them on the grill just like that if you just want to dry rub. Yeah. But we go baste it with some sauce. We like the Sweet Baby Rays. Sometimes we use different stuff, but we're going to get these things basted. Then we're going to stick them on the grill out there. And Oh, yeah. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Do the thumbs up, leave a comment and all that stuff. Tell us your secret rub. Yeah. And maybe we'll share an awesome business deal with you like the, what was it? The ice skating rink in the, in the desert, desert thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That you might be. <laughs> we're going to get these basted up, get them out there on the grill, and we'll get we'll tell you that part when we get out there and do some more pros and cons. So the potatoes have been on for what? I can smell them. Things smell good, don't they? They smell good. Maybe what? 35 40 minutes mm -hmm. maybe a little give yeah. or take give or take some we're gonna spray the grill thing down pam put pam on everything if you ever watch joe dirt pam on everything mm -hmm. pam goes on everything or or your car down with it everything you can, <laughs> you can polish your bowling ball with it yeah. i guess put it in your hair slick your hair back like dapper dan do all that <laughs> got the ribs right here some people put more rub on it. Some people don't. We're going to do that right now. We'll take the potatoes off. And again, we got some more cons. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Yep. I said cons like it was you all did. bad. <laughs> <laughs> we get to do everyday stuff while we're working. We get to watch YouTube, watch TV, wash clothes, grill, do all kinds of stuff. Yep. I guess, I guess another... A, pro, a con would be that we have to watch what we buy. Yeah. And we have to really watch what we buy. It has to be high price. I mean, high rate selling good items. Selling high, items. Good selling items at a high price. And it can't be big. Can't be too heavy. So we no. have to be really picky about what we pick. Yes. Instead of just being able to buy every cool thing we see. The idea of this, these are already cooked. You just want to char them and get that smoky grill taste on to them. So we're gonna put them down now. Probably wanna leave these on for about eight minutes. Yeah. Not long at all. Not long at all. Cause then you're gonna start making them tough. They already, like I said, they already cooked. You just wanna get the flavor here. Mm -hmm. Get that char on them. Yep. All right, for the last pro, I guess. Yeah, it's exciting. It's always an adventure. We go everywhere and have fun. Awesome places, mountains, yeah. hikes, rivers. Crossing swinging bridges, you know, <laughs> yeah. tourist spots, non-tourist spots, yeah. all kinds of stuff. And the future is wide open. We can go anywhere. It's anywhere. Just, it's, it's an adventure yes. knowing that you can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. and I guess one of the cons would be, another con would be that sometimes we were, it takes time to move around. So yeah. we don't get to go out sourcing and take care of business as much as you would if you had a home base or something like that. So if there's problems, you have to deal with it regardless mm -hmm. if you have to move that day or yeah. not, or you have a trouble with your RV or not, which yeah. we haven't, knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever's going on, you have to deal with it uh, that at that moment. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a little bit easier to do that from a home base than it is to do that on the road. And you get more yeah. time to source for inventory, mm -hmm. get more time to deal with uh, customer service, mm -hmm. You know, put your packages together, send them out, everything. Everything's mm -hmm. got something to do with business. Because sometimes we'll be moving and we'll get a message about an item and we can't answer them right away. Right then. You have to get to it as It'll fast as you can. It'll be hours later sometimes. Yeah. All right. Them bad boys are done. Yeah. Don't want to leave them on here too long. Said it a hundred times. I'm going to say it one hundred and one times. These are just to get that grill taste. This is the Benny B quick smoke method with that liquid smoke. Look at that. Ooh. See that thing flexing? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That right there, that's my McRib sandwich right there. <laughs> my McRib sandwich. I'm going to stick these, what do you call these again? Potatoes. Get potatoes back on here just to warm them up. Those are done. All right, so we're going to take these in, put it all together, do a little taste test real quick, and then we will do what's sold, maybe give you guys an idea what you could be on the lookout for too. Got a feeling this gonna work out pretty good though. 
Well, they have rested under the tin foil for uh, five-ish minutes. Yeah. And they are ready to uh, eat. So we're going to do a quick taste test. And a bit, look at them things. Why? Why? Let me put my hand down here in case they slide. <laughs> Man, please, let me get close up. Close up, screen close up. It probably ain't extreme since it's a wide angle. But look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Don't eat my McGrill. Okay. You ready? You yeah. got some napkins ready? We're fancy. We have napkins. You ready? Yeah. Pick your rib. I want this one. Oh, look. I couldn't even pick it up. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. My favorite. That barbecue spare rib? Real good. Mmm. -hmm. That is real good. And tender, it tastes so good. If my hand wasn't sticky with ribs, I would pat myself mm -hmm. on the back. All right, so as we promised, and as always, we're gonna do a what sold. And you wanna go first? With yeah, the I picked up these Ed Hardy jeans, men size 30. They were crazy looking, brand new with tags. $7 we paid for them. They sold for $59.99 plus shipping. That's why it had me smiling because it looks, the back of them things are tripping. Oh. It looks like a perfume bottle of Ed Hardy perfume. Crazy looking. Look like a bottle of Ed, Ed Hardy perfume blew up in his back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saw this, maybe you saw this in the last video if you watched, but got two lenses and a camera. I think I paid 60 or 70 bucks for them. Sold the first one for $109.99, the Panasonic Lumix 45 to 200 millimeter. And also, I sold the other one for yeah. $84.99. Yeah. So, obviously made my money back and then some already. And still got the camera <laughs> left to sell. We picked up this Munchkin Baby Fresh Food Grinder for a dollar and some change. It sold for $23.99 plus shipping. It's a trip. It's called Munchkin. Yeah, Munchkin. <laughs> <laughs> These are some headphones that you might have saw in another video, too. I... I stuck my guns on these. I paid seven dollars yes. for these. These are some Sennheiser. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sennheiser PX100 foldable mm -hmm. open air headphones. I paid seven dollars for them. Sold them for two twenty four ninety nine. Wow. Came up on that one. <laughs> we picked up these HP ninety six ninety seven combo ink cartridges. New in the bag. Why do people buy expired ink? I have no idea. New in the box. I think Picked you can get new ink for that much. Exactly. I don't know. Picked them up for four dollars, sold them for thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Yeah, keep buying it. Yeah. This paid fifty dollars for this forty nine ninety nine. This yeah. is an M and M's cuckoo clock, and it was obnoxious to hear this thing that go thing off. That thing was creepy. But I sold it for one eighty four ninety nine. Yeah. They had a bunch of stuff in there, and you saw me. I actually picked it up in one of the last videos. They had a bunch of little M&M things, but that was the only one that they yeah. had that was a reasonable price. Everything else they had money on. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember the vintage Kool-Aid smiling man picture I picked up? 1980s. Paid $2 for it and sold it for $21.99 plus shipping. Yeah, that's, that thing's a trip. That I remember having one of those. so cool. I wouldn't believe it, but I looked up the numbers on these when I first bought one. These are Panasonic cordless phones yeah i didn't know cordless phones would still i didn't know people still use phones i guess they can use them in the office and stuff like that i did so <laughs> i mean it's not crazy to think so but got 29.99 for these and every set that i buy i sell within a couple of few months uh -huh. i mean i've gotten up to 50 bucks for some of them yeah these also got these a while back i think i paid three dollars for them or no i paid seven dollars for for a bundle of these and, and that Thunderbird. So, yeah, the Thunderbird, which I sold for sixty dollars. And yeah. then I've got three boxes of these and I sold these for sixteen dollars. So I still got two boxes left. Sold the Thunderbird for like I think yeah. it was sixty nine dollars. It was a lot of money. Yeah. Somebody in Mexico bought that thing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I hope you guys like it. I hope what we hope with what sold is that it gives you an idea of what you can be on the lookout yeah. for. Remember, guys, you can do the same thing. You can even, but remember, you can do it. But look, yeah. ice rinks melt in the desert and ice cream melts in the oven. Yeah. So don't open an ice rink in the in desert, desert that serves ice oven baked ice cream. Yeah.